Good morning. Today I have a very nice vintage OS FS40 four-stroke. Uh, this engine was introduced to the market in 1981 and it actually was the first OS engine that featured the front uh, front cam gear and the, the push rods in the front of the engine. Uh, so this engine was donated to me by an awesome member on RC Groups and uh, he gave it to me. I got it in the mail yesterday and it was completely disassembled and the wrist pin was still stuck in the piston so I wasn't able to at least at that time wasn't able to pull the cylinder or the uh, piston head out and replace the bearings uh, but I subsequently was able to get the pin out uh, pulled the crankshaft out, cleaned everything up. He had also sent a new set of bearings for this engine so uh, right now the engine is in running order again and this is the first time it's been run this particular engine features an air bleed carb and I think I've got it set about halfway uh, between closing the uh, opening, but it's a really hard, small hole to see, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, I've got the needle valve turned to two full turns open, got a brand new engine number three plug on it, and right now I'm running it without the pressure adapter because I've had several of these engines before, and in an upright installation like this, I haven't really found the need for uh, the pressure adapter to be on there, but if I'm starting to have some issues with it running, I'll install a pressure adapter so that it can actually pressurize the fuel system a little bit. So uh, I've got an APC 11.6 prop on here. The thing's got great compression and I'm excited to see how well it starts and runs. <coughs> so we're at full throttle now. Let's prime. Now, since this engine was totally disassembled, it could require quite a bit of prime to get the fuel up in the head there. We'll see. Alright, let's give it a fire.
as you can see, that's a fine running engine. Uh, it looks like it's in perfect condition. In fact, when I had it apart, well, when it came to me apart yesterday, um, it looked like a very low runtime engine to begin with anyway. The ring wasn't compressed in the piston. The valves weren't very dirty. I mean, there was a little carbon buildup on the exhaust valve, but not an awful, an awful lot. Uh, I replaced the bearings just because a set was given to me. But uh, you saw a first flip and it started, and I must have guessed pretty good on the idle adjustment because, or the air bleed, because it seemed to idle pretty good. I mean, yeah, it was kind of a little bit rich. I could have tweaked it, but I'm happy with it. And, uh, with this prop, a 12.6, it didn't look like it wanted to do much more than 8,800 RPM because as soon as I started to lean a little bit more, I could hear it start to drop off. So that would have been the max RPM for this engine for this prop. Now I could probably switch to a 10 or a 12 inch prop and get you know less RPM, but uh, I can't complain. I mean, this represents the pinnacle of OS quality in my opinion from the early 80s through the early to mid 90s, in my opinion, is the pinnacle of the quality of their engines, both two and four strokes. And this may not be a powerhouse, but it sure is a sweet little engine.